Oh, be my friend if you're not already. Okay. This poem I just finished uh, right now, and it's entitled Empty Cemeteries, but the whole game of death. So. Six years you've been gone, Dad. I see signs of you everywhere. It's the hawks flying in the sky, sometimes three times in a week. Vivid dreams, I gladly sleep a lifetime, then face another day in this reality sometimes. It's in white men who have the same bald head or structure as you. It's recently in the gravel voice of a stranger holding the door for me. And I cried because I realized I haven't heard your voice in six years. Desperately needing your advice. Coming to the end of my 30s and I can't believe life is still this heavy without you. A daughter's forever bond is her father's Learn what a man is. I hold all pride of my chest, bright, shining light as you did, with all volcanic sewer tongue honesty. That's the thing about grief. It's on days like today, and all you want to do is celebrate, and it looks different now. How I know you'll always live on is when I say one of your many jokes in the room lights up with laughter, and I smile, and I hope that moment for as long as possible. And someone will say, I've never heard that who talks like that, and I get to speak about you because nobody asked anymore. And I believe that my eyes will be forever cemeteries and only a few comprehend. The number six is significant for finding peace within yourself. And I can say, my holes in my heart took six years to finally feel filled with healing, healthy, no longer in a soulmate or heartache but living in the moment as much as possible, even if it means working two jobs and my time is slipping away from poetry or playing music as much, but here, in these small and big, beautiful reminders, it's all I have. And I give anything to see what you can see now. But life just feels too long, empty, and joyous without you in it.